Turing completeness means that a system or programming language can do what a Turing machine does. Think of a Turing machine as an infinite strip of tape, and the machine can write down different symbols on the tape. These symbols can be written to or read from the tape, and the machine will do something based on the symbol written. Most programming languages are Turing complete, but what you may not know is that some unexpected things are also Turing complete. This allows you to simulate a computer on a surprising range of devices. So in theory, a Turing machine should be able to do anything the device you're watching this video on can. Alan Turing was an English mathematician whom you may know as one of the people who helped break German ciphers during World War II. However, he also worked on the concepts of algorithms and computation, and so he is held in very high regard in computer science, often spoken of as the father of computers. In Turing's paper, Intelligent Machinery, he questioned the commonly held idea that a machine cannot think for itself. The idea of a Turing machine is exactly this, a machine that can think for itself. Long before any electronic computers were actually built, Turing had both established this definition of what they could look like, as well as proven some things about how they would have to work. For example, in the 1930s, Turing proved that there cannot exist an algorithm that will accept another algorithm and some sort of um, input for that algorithm, and then determine whether that program halts or not. This is called the halting problem. Turing completeness has allowed people to make incredible things. You may have seen the computers people have built in Minecraft, but that is only one example of the incredible things built. Within Minecraft, there exists a substance called redstone, which can carry a signal between two points. This is often used for contraptions like automatic doors or traps. However, because of the nature of redstone and how similar it is to real-life circuitry, clever people have discovered how to replicate real-life circuits even up to computers like these. Just to show the scale, on one side I have a small calculator that adds two bits together, and on the other side I have a screenshot of a full computer. The computer isn't even all shown on the screen. Just imagine the immense size it must be. Turing completeness in Minecraft allows people to build incredible things like this. Microsoft Excel is also Turing complete. This means that if you had enough time and memory, you could build a computer in Minecraft in Excel. While Microsoft Excel can be used for just manual entry and retrieval of data, it also supports formulas, which are instructions that Excel will follow based on the instruction and its arguments. For example, SUM will add all of the numbers in a range of cells automatically. These formulas allow for the creation of a Turing machine in Excel without the use of macros. CSS, or Cascading Style Sheets, is used to make your favorite websites look nice. However, it too was shown to be Turing complete. This means that, if you had enough time and memory, you could build a computer in Minecraft, in Excel, in CSS. Super Mario World allows for ACE, or Arbitrary Code Execution. By doing a specific glitch, the game will start to turn the player's controller inputs into code. By doing a very specific series of button presses, this has allowed people to make even entire games, like this version of Pong. By loading incorrect things into incorrect places, the game can be manipulated. For example, there are certain enemies that Yoshi, Mario's dinosaur friend, is able to eat, and some he cannot. By forcing the game to let Yoshi eat the incorrect enemies, garbage sprites can be placed and read as an item. This means that, if you had enough time and memory, you can build a computer in Minecraft, in Excel, in CSS, in Super Mario World. In terms of more practical uses, arbitrary code execution in old video games can be useful for speedrunning. Since speedruns demand that the player beat the game as fast as possible, ACE can be used to force the game to skip directly to the end credits. In many games, this is impossible to do by hand, so a TAS, or tool to do speedrun, must be created, which is essentially a recording of the button input. For example, by means of creating JS runs, Super Mario World can be beaten in about 42 seconds, the original Mega Man can be beaten in about 32 seconds, and Super Mario Bros. 3 can be beaten in less than a second. Naturally, these types of runs are placed in a separate category on speedrun leaderboards. Pokemon Yellow is also Turing complete. 
In a similar fashion to how incorrect things can be loaded in Super Mario World, speedrunners of Pokemon Yellow can force the game to places them where they are not supposed to be. This is used to skip directly to the Hall of Fame, thus speeding the game. However, since the game is turning complete, this is not all that can be done. For example, the footage playing right now is done with arbitrary code execution in Pokemon Yellow, but you'll be seeing a little more than just that. If this kind of thing interests you, there are resources available online that can beyond explain it beyond the scope of this video. While it was theorized that Magic the Gathering was turning complete for several years, it was only definitively proved in 2019. Alex Churchill, Stella Biderman, and Austin Herrick wrote a paper demonstrating the game's turn completeness. The tournament legal list of 60 cards that they put together would cost about 1500 US dollars. However, I did some theory crafting into cutting this down and I believe that it could be cut down to about 250 US dollars. While this may seem as though it has no practical applications in the same way that the computers in Minecraft are largely for fun, Magic the Gathering is NP hard, which the authors believe makes Magic the hardest game that currently exists. Its Turing completeness also means that if you had enough time and memory, you could build a computer in Minecraft, in Excel, in CSS, in Super Mario World, in Magic the Gathering. Turing's relatively simple idea of computation has allowed for several neat things. Since anything that is Turing complete can be used to simulate a computer, computers can be built in all sorts of things. As you have seen, this can be used for entertainment, new routes for speedrunners, or research. However, all of them stem from the same principles set by Alan Turing more than a half century ago. Minecraft's Turing completeness has introduced a younger audience to computer science far earlier than they would have beforehand. Super Mario World has allowed people to express themselves creatively in an entirely new medium. And Magic the Gathering has implications for games around the world. Computer science allows for so many different groups of people to come together. And there is perhaps no better example of this than what arises when something is discovered to be Turing complete. Now the only question left is, what Turing complete thing will we discover next?